I just got to say, somebody asked me who's my favorite person in Bel Air, and now I got it. It is definitely Carlton. I admire his strength, the way he tries, the way he gives everything he puts his mind to 100%. Now, I told you, I don't like when these guys argue. The beginning of the episode is Will Smith and his cousin are definitely going at it. Now, here is why it is Will's fault. Carlton's type of person, he prepares and he over-prepares. Will just goes there, <laughs> you know how they say, throw shit at the walls and see what sticks. So they get to this entrepreneur program and Carlton got the numbers and everything ready. Will has just got the plan in his head. The first thing they messed up is because they decided they was going to separate who's doing what. They should have decided to work together. But Will wants to show that he knows and he's smart and stuff like that. And I guess this has everything to do with that conversation where he overheard that, you know, he's never going to make it. And I, you know what? That's kids being kids because unfortunately he doesn't see the power in himself that he proclaims to have because it's there, but he's just unprepared. Everybody just puts stuff on top of Carlton and Carlton's supposed to handle it. Carlton struggles from not being able to say no. And unfortunately, I, I'm going to say he might end up getting tempted again. It seems like he is not strong enough for the real world, unfortunately. But I love his character. Anyway, it kicks off with Phil and Aunt Viv. Like I said, I called it and I said it. She has every right to be upset with Phil because he did not tell her. Like, if I heard something from another female, it's a problem. Because me and my husband is supposed to be best friends. Don't be keeping secrets with another female and she's got to tell me what my husband is doing. It is a problem. It's embarrassing. So anyway, she doesn't want to talk to Phil this whole episode and she wants a girl's night out, which she is definitely entitled to. He's probably entitled to one too. Like, so everything is going good. She's out with her girls and this is where it gets messy. Her home girl has Viv's phone and she is liking pictures of this dude. So you know he's going to think she did it and he's going to approach her at some point or hopefully it don't get messy and social media is like she's liking another man's pictures, which you know what? That is what might happen. Hopefully Phil is understanding as Viv was about that kiss because this is just stuff that they just need to sort out. Did y'all catch the way her girls looked at her when she said, I haven't slept with my man in two months? They were like, all of them, every single one of them. However, they gave her a different response. The one girl said, take your time, girl. Why nobody being a friend? Okay. Will and Carlton supposed to be studying for this upcoming project. Lisa comes through with a mirror. And that is out the window. Now, this is giving me, if y'all know, then you know, Saved by the Bell vibes. Remember, they did work at the Yacht Club. Also, they were doing the volleyball thing and everything else. This is like Saved by the Bell. Trust me. And Will is Zach. And I guess Carlton is Slater. What I don't get about Jazz. Jazz, why would you come to the hospital and visit Hillary. I think that is hella rude. You come in, this guy is knocked out in the bed and you come in, oh, I just want to check on you. I thought that was a messed up move. And then you got a girl with you. What person goes to a hospital know the exact floor he went on and is standing there like, who does that? Anyway, Jazz, I don't like that move. That move was was uncalled for. You, you could have called her. How about that? You could have just called. Oh, I'm just checking on you. They're being extra. And you got Lee, Lee mother there? Messy. Now they got Phil dealing with this plan to regentrify a certain area. Now, when that comes to that, that gets slicey, dicey, and messy. I personally understand both points. You got people that want to see their area developed with like new stores and condos and bringing more money into the area. And then you got other people that are saying, well, we need to keep our stores the same and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, I don't agree with the people that do regentrification by trying to 
do shady moves. And I mean, when I say shady moves, like not fixing the toilets, not fixing the plumbing, having people live in unsuitable conditions because you're trying to get them out to get more money. I'm against that completely. That's even disgusting. Like if they're paying, leave them alone. Now, to me, if you want to build and it's a lot that's empty and deserted and you want to build like high condos, I mean, why not? That's my opinion. And give me some organic stores because I would love an organic store in my neighborhood because there are people that be like, oh, why we don't have anything in our neighborhood? So he's building it in that way. Then that's all good. But the doing underhanded stuff to get people out of the neighborhood I, I don't agree with that. So it doesn't seem like this guy is doing that particular move. Lamarcus daddy come <laughs> and he's like, uh, yeah, sick wear. We got to get ready and we got to play. So Lamarcus's dad doesn't seem like he cares too much about his health. It seems like Lamarcus is a cash cow. And everybody is like, you got to hurry up and get better. This is going to be a very dicey situation. Hillary is doing the best she could. She is being there for him. She, that is a really, I want to say that's a really good woman, but she was kissing jazz last week. So it was a really good move. Now, Hillary, you got to stop playing both sides. If you're going to choose to be with LaMarcus, then you got to be all in, cut jazz off. If you want to prove to be with jazz, then cut LaMarcus off. But you can't be dangling both sides because it's not fair. It's not right, but it's okay. Jeffrey asked Will, what his son Frederick was up to. And Will is not going to say anything. However, Colton did not care about keeping the secret. And this is why I really admire him. And I know he's a fictional character, but I feel like it was very real. He's tired of be holding secrets and stuff like that. So he unburdened himself to Jeffrey. And that shows a lot of character. He's like the most honest person in that house. He's like, listen, I can't go on like this. I got to let you know. And it's good because after he told Jeffrey that they were racing, Jeffrey knew what time it was and he knew what was going on and what his son was into. So I don't know what that phone means and these numbers. That's And I love the way that Jeffrey unburdened Carlton all the way. And he said, don't even tell me anything. This is not, I don't need to know. You have nothing to do with this. And he's handling his own son. So I love that. However, can I be honest with y'all? This, as toxic as this might sound, Bella is getting a little bit dry. I, I like it. I love watching, you know, rich black people. I don't know why, but it's, let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Uh, maybe I'm just toxic and y'all could call me toxic. But is it a little dry up in here? This is episode four. I didn't see episode five yet. I, I just want to give y'all my natural reactions to each. So let me know what y'all think. Anyways, I mean, I've seen it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And <laughs> tell me how you feel. Even if you want to curse me out. I could take it. I'm a big girl. I promise.